Hello everybody from Long Haul's Video Tour 2018, uh, August 13th, a little later this year. Uh, so big changes inside the cabin. We have a hardwood floor now. Uh, after seven years of plywood subfloor and I redid the kitchen a little bit, redid the cabinets and stuff like that, and the sink. Um, well, if you can call them cabinets. They're, they're closer to cabinets than they were before. Uh, not a whole lot else has changed in here except we also have... Well, we have a new table and we have a new desk and a new root cellar. Um, so we, this was a big project. I did a post about it on permies.com. You can check that out, retrofit in-floor root cellar. And it's about three feet by four feet by four feet. It's basically on grade and there's dirt backfilled. And yeah, you can check out the post on permies.com if you just look up retrofit uh, in-floor root cellar. It's worked really well for us. It's, it goes way back there, and um, yeah, it's been a big life changer there. So yeah, that's most of the uh, changes inside the cabin. Um, I guess we, uh, oh yeah, we moved the bed around to built a new bed so we can have storage under there, underneath there, and I can't remember if we had the kids over here before, but we got all three kids' beds over here. Um, Genevieve's on the bottom bunk. So, yeah, going outside, uh, let's see, we did the, uh, uh, so yeah, screen porch, um, I don't think a whole lot has changed there. Um, we did insulate the, uh, greenhouse here. We got some tomatoes growing in pots, which, I don't know, that was probably a bad idea. They didn't, they haven't produced any fruit. They're not very happy tomatoes, but uh, but this is mostly for starting seeds, and I, I double layered the inside with uh, plastic, just used greenhouse plastic. Uh, so and then I insulated this with some pink foam as well, and I built a floor in here too, just a floating floor. So uh, the vast improvements on the uh, greenhouse. You can see the pink foam in there in between the door. Um, then there's the uh, yeah, the storage structure and the walk onions and the strawberries and the chickens. We have, I don't know, about 20 chickens right now, something like that. Fluctuates a little bit, but they're looking good. Oh, we built these new compost cribs for the chickens to scratch through. And, uh, yeah, garden vegetables. The cabbages are looking great. The, uh, been eating a lot of collards and kale. And broccoli, the bro we've harvested all the broccoli already. We got a ton of broccoli in the freezer. Um, and strawberries, boy, it's a bumper crop year for strawberries. We got, uh, I don't know, I harvested about five gallons or so of strawberries. Uh, put them in the freezer and ate as many as I uh, wanted for, you know, I don't know, about three weeks or so. Uh, yeah, got some more Brussels sprouts and more kale. And more broccoli, collards, more cabbages down there. And, uh, yeah, here's Genevieve's morning glories, which it's not the morning. It's the late afternoon. It's the early evening. So they're not, uh, boy, I'll have to, I should have taken this video in the morning. They're really beautiful in the morning. More broccoli, some arugula that went to seed back there. Uh, oh, big pile of horse poop. Yeah, good stuff. Fertility. Uh so the spaghetti squash are just looking amazing. I mean, I don't know if you can... I don't know. That's one, not one of the bigger ones, but here's one of the bigger ones. This is like... Oh, yeah. That's lots of spaghetti squash this year. Zucchini's been out the out the wazoo and the patty pans also. And uh, we decided to not cover the greenhouse this year, the hoop house, because uh, we take the plastic off so it doesn't collapse in our snow load. So we just grew... Uh, peas in there and they're pretty much on their way out as you can kind of see but um yeah let's see over here the tool kitchen has undergone vast improvements i put a new roof on because the old roof was leaking so you can see the new roof on top of the old roof and it never had the, the old roof never had big enough overhangs but now it's got plenty of overhang which is nice and before there was like tons of junk in here i mean there's still tons of junk in here there's actually more junk in here now 
but I uh, I actually have open space now too. It's it's incredible. You can't really tell, but this is like kind of a huge amount of open space compared to what it used to be, at least. Um, and it's because I finally actually built a wall over here. This was like a canvas wall forever. So then I was able to build shelves and put all my junk on shelves. And I built another workbench. So now when I have like one workbench totally cluttered with crap, then I usually have another workbench that's not totally cluttered with crap. So you, or usually all three of them are partly cluttered with crap at this point. Built some shelves over there too. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy to have a more functional workspace here. Uh, yeah, you can check out past tours for more explanations of systems and stuff like the inverter and all that. And, uh, but yeah, this is just kind of like the yearly tour. What's new, uh, at Long Haul? What have we been up to? Uh, oh yeah, green beans. They've been going nuts lately. Uh, see, we did a lot of mulching last year. We planted a bunch of, uh, currants and gooseberries so we got like one two three four five six different uh, gooseberry slash current plants because they seem to do really well here um, and then uh, yeah another one there and another one there and uh, a couple of the plum trees are doing really well some of the apples that apple's doing good that one died but it's sprouting back up from its root stock and that one's not doing some of the apples aren't doing so well but we're kind of, I don't know, we're, we're uh, little by little. And here's the new uh, guest tiny house that I'm working on. So that'll be hopefully, you know, I don't know, um, hopefully finish that this winter. I've got it pretty much dried in. I still have to do trim around the windows. We'll go inside there. And these are new raised beds that we made right here with the turnips and radishes in them. Uh, you can't really see it super well, but I I did a ton of work on this area. This was, like, not organized before. Um, now it's, like, fairly well laid out. And, you know, the feng shui, the garden feng shui is... Uh, I don't even know what that word means. I just... I probably sound completely like an idiot saying it. But, yeah, apple tree, um, the hoop house. Here, we'll go in here real quick. Um, so... Yeah, I think that this is going to be a really nice, I mean, it's not finished at all right now. I just, basically, we, we bought this trailer with a tiny house partly built on it. But isn't that going to be just a wonderful view out the uh, front window here of the gardens? Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, we built this tiny house. It was already, like, framed, but it was completely framed wrong. And the guy was spanning the whole seven foot with two by fours and... I just had to rip it completely apart down to the, all the way down to the floor and then build, build it back. Luckily he used Torx bit screws. So I was able to take it apart pretty easily. I should probably close these windows in here. And yeah, there's no headers over any of the windows, which there's no header over this one, but that's not a load bearing one. So it's okay. Um, but the, over here, there was like, you know, there was a window. Actually, one of these windows was on this wall with no header and there was like a, jo um, a rafter just sitting right in the middle of it, like make uh, it was it was terrible over over the door too. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that's a winter project. Um, let's see what's going on, Galvin. How's it going? Hi. <laughs> you want to come with Dad on the tour? A little tour? Ah, oh, we're blurry. We just bl we just got blurred. What happened there? I don't know. Anyway, maybe it'll be unblurred by the time we're over here. I can't remember if we had the teepee set up here or not. Uh, and I can't remember if we did this in the other tour. There's the... Uh, over here, the, uh, you know, the bathroom area. Uh, gravity feed shower right there. Cold water in the summer. Hot days like this. And a bathtub we can start a fire under. Um, some shiitake logs over there that have not produced any mushrooms yet. Although we've had great luck with the... Uh, oh, this is something really cool that I don't think I've ever done on the tour. This was like somebody like came and cut with an axe like 
hundred years ago and this tree is like growing around it. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, this was, I mean, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. It's clearly an ax mark, you know, and two different, you know, chops and yeah, it had heart rot. So I assume that's why they left it, but see the tree is like growing around it. It's pretty cool. So anyway, I don't know if I ever showed that on the tour before and yeah, this was, uh, this is Damien's TP over here uh, that he kind of has donated to as like a common space, you know, it's right by the the fire pit over here. Um, so we made a little fire pit in there and yeah, it's a space we can hang out like common space when it's raining. Um, yeah, there's the fire pit, and over here, done some excavating, got the, uh, building the forms for the sauna, finally, I'm going to do a continuous foundation, and this is what I'm working on right now, I've got some, uh, got the dump truck going, and hauled up a load of, uh, Gravel and sand. Got some Portland cement. And I made, and I made that house. And Galvin's been working on his own little building. Check this out. Galvin made this awesome house. Holy cow! Galvin's four and a half years old, and he's been doing some awesome building too. Oh, and he made this. This is like a dirt house, right? And that's like a rock and wood house. That's going to be more like the sauna because the sauna is going to be made of rocks on the bottom and wood on top. We're going to do, uh, so I'm going to pour con continuous concrete like below grade and then above grade we're going to do slip form stone, stone work. So I'll uh, put some pictures up of that and maybe, I don't know, something on my Shutterfly website. Um, so what's under that thing? The pipe. Cool. All right. So there's a little, hole, there's a little cave under there, huh? All right, so over here, uh, what else is new? Ah, uh, yeah, we got a bunch of bunch of logs still stacked up, a bunch of lumber. Got some more possible building projects going on, always a bajillion building projects going on. Um, we did finish the uh, foundation for uh, the cabin for the family that was staying with us, but uh kind of the building part of it never quite happened so there's a foundation there now but eventually we'll put a building there but anyway long story on that one but oh look there's a toad there's a big toad oh what's up toad that's a big one isn't it yeah so over here i can't remember i think the last time that i did this tour i don't think god i should always i should watch i should really look at my my last year's tours before doing this because I have I have no idea like what I actually like had in there um, but I'm pretty sure that the yurt no yeah the yurt probably was not finished so anyway there's a there's an apple tree there's an apple tree there's a grape vine uh, not a whole lot has changed with this garden area but our friends uh, our friends did finish their yurt so They've been living in their, their yurt, and they finished that. They lived in there all winter, and um, then they just got some solar panels. So, anyway, that's uh, kind of exciting stuff. And we're probably going to build a woodshed, like, right here. That'll be a permanent structure that we're going to maybe use some of that milled lumber for. Um, yeah. My friend's got some gardening going on here as well, and yeah, kind of let them take over these raised beds. So, yeah, we got some potatoes in this garden and this hugel bed. They're like loving that hugel bed. It's great. There's one of our apple trees. Not a whole lot has changed in here. I mean, I don't know. I'll probably go back, do that tour. Like, I mean, the raspberries are great. The blueberries are doing okay. The a couple of the apple trees have died or just kind of died back a little bit. One of them got crushed under snow load. That one that you can't quite see it right there. Um, 
but you know that those things happen and uh, we've got some really healthy looking apple trees too it should be producing some apples in a, in a year or two here um, then uh, oh let's go over should we go over to to Damien's place what do you think what do you think Galvin so then yeah not a whole lot else has uh oh yeah we have a new yeah we'll walk past the the sugar shack we built a slightly uh better sugar shack so that's you know anyway um yeah little little by little um oh yeah i did some clearing back over there i don't know back kind of behind the sound of sight it probably looks quite a bit different, but that's eventually where our house is going to go, kind of right by, back behind the sauna site. So, um, this is Damien's tiny house on wheels that he's working on. He's got some, just recently got some windows in, and he's done a bunch of gardening. Um... Yeah, he's got he's got some potatoes going, some peas, some beets over there, some other stuff. He built this fence around the garden. Uh, yeah, there's his his uh, work in progress there. And you gonna come come along, Galvin? Should we go to the sugar shack? Yeah. Okay, we'll show people the sugar shack, and then we'll be done. That's pretty much that's pretty much most of what's. Uh, What's new so far this year? I don't know. I'm I'm probably forgetting stuff. I one of the yeah maybe uh, yeah it's been a busy year. It's been kind of crazy, but as usual, it's always a busy year. Every year we stay busy out here, endless projects, you know. But uh, but it's been good. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to all the people in YouTube land. You know that place on the internet where we watch TV? Yeah. yeah that's called YouTube. And uh, so I put videos on there too. So that means you're going to be on TV on the internet. Isn't that weird? What did you say? It means you're going to be on TV on that on on, on the internet. So so this is our like sugarbush trail that kind of comes back out around and brings us back to the house terrible sugar year this year oh my gosh it was uh the worst year i've ever experienced oh you found baneberry good thing you know what it is you know not to eat it um so yeah there's the uh, new sugar shack which is basically a slightly glorified version of the old sugar shack this built out of salvage materials and you know just poles and yeah, it's a lot taller than the other than the old one. Got that finished before last uh, uh, before last winter, so it was uh, it was nice. Got a little more room in there now. Um, yeah, geez, I I don't know. There's probably probably something else that we uh, yeah I don't know. You should just look at some old some other tours if you're interested in. Oh, Jin Jin's bike is now your bike, right? Because we painted it green, right, Gal Gal? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Here we're coming to the house up here. So, I guess I'm, uh, I should probably just, just, uh, sign off. Because that's, that's really all, it's really all I can think of right now. I mean, it's pretty much the base, basics, at least. So, Anyway, uh, we'll, uh, I suppose we'll, uh, see y'all next year on the tour. Yeah. Your bike is green? Oh, look at that. Look at that, Galvin. There's a little, there's a little volunteer oregano. That's so nice. I love that. That's a nice little herb there. Cool. Who'd have thunk right on the edge there? Just a nice little random volunteer oregano. 
see you plant you plant things and they and they grow it's 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 incredible so all right thanks everyone we'll uh we'll see you next year all right